All right, today we're gonna to be going over how to build a mobile out of all found objects. I've got sticks, I've got a little bit of pine cones and um, you know stuff like that, and then I've got some twine that I kind of found laying around. All right, so what I'm doing first is I'm taking my pine cones and my little tubers that I find from the trees and I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna drill a little hole in them. Just like this, a little hand drill. You know, you don't have to have a hand drill to do this. This is just the way that I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna take this and I've got a tiny little hole there and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put some glue on it and then I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna take a wire and I'm gonna shove this into my pine cone here. And that's gonna be how I'm gonna secure my string into the pine cone. And I can seal it up with a little drop of glue afterwards and this will give it just a really nice, you know, knots can be a little bit unsightly. So I'm trying to cover as many tracks as possible. So you'll just see the string kind of coming straight out from this afterwards. What you can also do is if you find pine cones that have branches on them, such as this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here and I'm going to take and I'm going to thread it through and I'm just going to tie a knot and then I'll put a little drop of glue on it and I can secure it that way. So you don't have to have a drill in order to do this at home. You can just do it with string, scissors, you know, a drop of glue helps to keep everything solidified. You know, as we build and bump into things, it'll make it a little bit easier to work with. Um, regular old Elmer's glue, wood glue, any glue will help. It'll bind all those fibers together. After you've got all your parts are glued together and hanging on to their strings, we're gonna start building. Now remember, you always start from the bottom and you build your way up to the top. That way you can maintain balance and balance and balance. Now if you start from the top and work your way down, it's never gonna work because your balance, when you ha add more on, the counterweights will change constantly. So you always start from the bottom and work our way up. All right, we've got our finished mobile here. Um, you'll notice that in the time lapse, I build it from the bottom, then the second to the bottom, third to the bottom. I just basically keep going myself up taller and taller. Now this whole section from here to here is only about 18 inches, okay? Here's an 18 inch ruler, it's about 18 inches. You wanna make sure that you keep your strings kind of short because this can easily get out of hand and get too vertical on you. Also, I keep my sticks on the shorter side. I mean, I started off here with a nine inch, then I go up to a 13, a 17, and then again, another 17. You wanna make sure that you're short enough that it's not getting out of hand, but you have to make sure that they're long enough that as this spins and passes each other, you're not gonna crash into each other. If you get two that are the same length, these two are almost the same length, I can get kinda close right here. I'm about an inch away, but that's okay, because I'm not gonna knock into itself. Um, you know, this stick here, this one is rather on the short side, but it's long enough that if this spins around, it's not going to really crash into this one here is gonna just barely keep itself balanced. You'll notice it's a little bit high. So actually what I wanna do is change this just to slide it over just a touch so that I can drop my end down there 
so that when it does rotate past, it doesn't knock into itself. So these are kind of little micro adjustments that have to happen as you're building uh, and you'll refine your ideas. I also trimmed off all the loose extra string to make it look neat so there isn't just looseness falling around. All right, we'll see you next time.